These days, you hear a lot about downsizing in retirement, especially if you are a homeowner. Depending on your local housing market, the de decision may even feel more urgent. But is downsizing the best option for you? Stay tuned and find out. What's it all about, Yogi? Some people heading into their retirement choose to stay in their current home. Especially when you're built up many fond mem memories associated with your family and friends in your home. That's correct. Many people have paid their mortgage off by the time they reach their 60s or are close to doing so. In fact, a recent survey indicates that 52% of baby boomers expect they will move, never move from their current home. True, true. But if you consider that over 40% of adults are expected to run out of cash after they retire, staying in your current home could be very risky. With uncertainties uh, over retirement and the lure of enjoying a home with less maintenance, it's a no-brainer why the prospect of downsizing into a smaller home is become, becoming a viable option. That's true. However, it's not only for a financial reason, reasons that retirees downsize. It may be that simply want to live somewhere different or to be closer to family. Or perhaps unforeseen changes in circumstances such as a health issue yeah. or a bereavement has caused them to consider their living arrangements. Yes, yes. Whatever reasons you might have to downsize, downsizing itself has many interpretations. Downsizing can be a tough decision. So let's look at the cons of downsizing in retirement. While downsizing can be a great option for many people, it may not be right for you at this moment in time. Weigh up whether any of the following drawbacks might affect you. For example, leaving friends and neighbors behind. A move closer to family may sound like a good idea. However, if you already have a strong network of friends, and neighbors, you could end up with less day-to-day -day contact. Let's look at lifestyle changes. That's right. Can a new area offer everything you need to continue living a fulfilled life, mm -hmm. a life that you're used to? Mm -hmm. If you have any hobbies that are important to you, will you be able to continue in this area? Mm -hmm. Consider who you are moving for. Yes. Do you feel pressured by relatives to make a move? <laughs> While their intentions are good, make sure that the move is right for you too. That's right. You see, a smaller home means less space. If you're moving from an older property with large rooms and a garden, you might find a new flat very cramped. Make sure you are happy with the new building and can see yourself living there for a number of years. How about getting around? Mm. What are the alternatives to driving if you can't drive? That's right. Is there a good uh, public transport system in the new area and is it easily accessible? Mm. For example, have you considered whether it's on the main bus route? and whether the stop is nearby and walking distance of your new home. Can your friends and family easily get to the area? Mm. Are there good shops, a library, cafes and good other amenities that ne needs nearby? How far, far away is the nearest doctor's surgery or hospital and what are the parking facilities like? 
Is there off street parking or unrestricted parking on the street? Do you have a driveway for visitors? So, how do you enjoy the new area? Are there other people of a similar age on the street or in the immediate neighborhood? Does the new area generally seem quiet or peaceful? Are there activities and classes for aging people in the local area that match your particular interests? Or hobbies. Yeah. Are there any plans for major changes or developments such as building works in the area? <laughs> Does the area feel safe? Yeah. What are the local crime statistics? Is the building well secured? Mm -hmm. Are there suitable locks on the external doors and windows? That's right. Okay. Is there a burglar alarm? Mm -hmm. Is the property fitted with a smoke alarm and a carbon monox monoxide detector? Exactly. That's very important. Yeah. If you've lived in your home for a long period of time, it's likely that you've developed an attachment to it and your happy memories could make it harder to move on that's correct so let's look at the pros of downsizing in retirement well downsizing for financial gain for many retired homeowners they own a property but live off a small regular income such as pension downsizing to a less expensive property can be a way to raise money. This could be used to supplement your pension, pay off your mortgage or a loan on the property. Sometimes the term releasing equity is used to describe the process of making money from selling an existing home and buying a new home at a lower price. However, this is misleading because releasing equity means holding on to the current property and borrowing against its value. Other things like changes in health or mobility. Even the most minor changes in health or mobility can affect day to day life. Yeah. You might find it less easy to move around or get in and out of your home, particularly if there are stairs or external steps. That's correct. Yeah. If this is the case, uh, you might be more comfortable in a bungalow uh, or a ground floor apartment or even a mobile home. If you have recently had to stop driving, it can become much more difficult to get around your area and can also affect your social life and your day-to-day -day needs. In that case, it may be worth re relocating to an area where friends and amenities are in walking distance or at least are more easily accessible by local public transport. Have you considered loneliness in isolation? Mm. Coping with bereavement is a very difficult thing to go through at any stage of life. Yes. It can be very distressing if you've lost your partner, especially if they were your only regular company. That's right, mm. correct. Yeah. If your friends or family used to live by but have now moved, this can lead to further feelings of lonely, loneliness or isolation. Mm, that's right. In these circumstances, a new home can feel like a new start. Mm. If you move to a new area, the friends or nearby where there is a potential to meet and socialize with people of your own age. However, if you are dealing with a very recent bereavement, consider if it is would be better to wait a while before making a move of this kind. This is already a very difficult time and moving to a new home may add too much additional stress to your life. That's right. So in summary, downsizing into a smaller home can be a tough decision. 
That's why it is so important to plan ahead. Talk to your family, friends and your financial advisor. Yes. Make the downsizing decision that meets your unique requirements and desires. Thank you for watching. If you find our content useful, then please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. See you in the next video. video.